Hey, this is Mrs. Winstead, and it seemed like yesterday some people had a little bit of trouble with the assignment that we had, so I'm actually going to walk you through that on this video. Um, so stay tuned and we'll check it out. All right, so here are the directions from that assignment. It says, on the reason for the season model page, locate the circle that will act as your pivot and cut along the three dash tabs, taking care to only cut on the dotted lines. Fold the tabs up along the inner black circle. So if we look at the other page, here are your tabs. Notice there are no dashed lines here. So you're only cutting here, here, and here. You can use scissors or an X-Acto knife for this, depending on what you have available. Um, so it's going to stay attached at this circle, and you are going to fold them in on the circle. So what I find is really helpful if you're using scissors is to kind of take these and bend a little bit so that you can kind of still see the lines and you're just gonna snip on either side okay so that takes care of the sides it's okay if they're a little messed up these are just gonna be to hold the next part in place and then you can just cut across the bottom and that makes a tab that you can then fold up and fold into the middle of that inner circle Okay, so you just need to do that with these other two tabs to start up. So here it is with all three cut out and folded into the middle. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect, but you can see my desk through here. So you've got them still attached, not taken off, but folded into the middle. So that's the first step. Our second direction, according to the instructions that you got yesterday, is to cut out the earth with the pivot bar diagram and remove the lower inner circle marked with the dashed line. So that's this here. So we're gonna cut out this whole thing and we're gonna cut out the middle of this. So that's gonna be your next step. You're also gonna wanna cut out this white circle here. So that will be the next thing that you need to do. All right, so at this point I've done step one, which I have here. I've done step two, which I have here, and I've done step three, which is to cut this out. So now what we're going to do is put this diagram here so that the tabs fit through the circle completely. And if your tabs aren't cut in far enough, you can just kind of tear them in a little bit. You want to make sure that you've got room for this to rotate around the tabs. So if you have to fiddle a little bit to get the tabs a little smaller, that is totally fine. So you just place this over the tabs. We're going to put some glue on those tabs so that it's on this part here, the top part here that faces up. And then we are going to glue the pivot topper, which is the white circle on top. So you're gonna put a little bit of glue on each of the tabs. So a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. So now we've got glue on those tabs. I'm gonna fold those back to the middle and I might put just a smidge more. You don't wanna get glue on this gray circle or on anything other than the tabs because that's where the pivot topper is going to attach and you don't want it to stick your earth down so that it can't move. So you're gonna place this on top. Make sure you straighten it out so that 90 degrees is in the middle. Just give that a little rub and then that allows this to move back and forth freely. So this is just glued to the tabs underneath, not to the little gray circle or the earth one itself. So that's kind of how that works. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue on my tabs down here to just kind of keep them down. But other than that, it's pretty much in place at this point. And then the last thing that you'll need to do is cut out where it says the solstices and the equinox. And you need to glue those to the correct spots on here. So this one, you know, the earth is tilted all the way toward the sun. This one's where it's tilted all the way away. And then this one's right in the middle. So you need to make sure you put your labels in place. And then you're gonna cut out this whole page. There's a dark line around the outside and you're gonna glue the whole thing in your notes packet. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, good luck.